Hello again and welcome to the best channel on YouTube, Claire and Drew, your favorite YouTube couple. And today we are going to be talking about, discussing, looking at whatever you want to say, uh, the biggest food debate. There's a lot of them. There's a lot. It's 2019 and we're just debating food. I kind of like it actually. I do too. You know, people are really getting out of their comfort zone and yelling and arguing about anything, especially food. <laughs> like for me, me and Claire argue all the time. I believe a human should rely on sweet, uh, junk food. For fried chicken, uh, pizza, and stuff like that. But Claire goes, no, you need a well-balanced diet full of veggies, full of freaking tofu. Do I do I make you eat a well-balanced diet? Yes, you I do? do. You go, do guess I? what? I'm gonna make. Do I? Cause whose wait. Coke Babe, is this, no, no huh? No free brand deals, no free brand deals. Sponsor me Coca-Cola. But on the real, let's go look at these. I feel like you haven't said a single word, so any comments? Pretty typical for our intros. Babe, I've made three million videos Whatever. where I'm the only one involved, sorry. The first question that we have, the first debate that we have, is a burrito a sandwich? Is that actually a, I've never actually heard that as a debate. I haven't either, but you know what it makes me think? Is a burrito a sandwich? Because there's technically carbs that hold in. That's, that's a burrito. There's no one ever, that's not even one of the debates. Like a normal one, it's like, it's a hot dog a sandwich. Then yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because that, that's actually okay. something someone says. Burritos, no. So no, no, it's not. No, no, it's no, no, it. It's not. Thank God. Thank God. I was about to be real mad. Oh, man. Is soup a beverage? Another one I don't... No, really... I kind of get this one. I think this might be a debate because of those, like, Campbell's to-go ones that you, like, hold and you sip like that. Oh, I... You okay, know what I'm talking no, about? Like, that could no. that could be the source of this debate. I remember those things, and honestly, they freak me out, yeah, so I, I never I never ate them. But that's, like, it's tomato soup, so it's not, like, chunky soup. It's, like, soup that you could just, like, drink. But no, soup is it's definitely not but a beverage. It's not a beverage. Yeah, no, I'm saying no beverage. Uh, Slurp, no. Wow, that's even higher ratings. That's crazy. Whoa, okay. There you go. I think all of these are just a little weird. A little funky. But this one says, is a bowl of cereal a salad? No. Honestly, though, if you think about it, this particular salad, or <laughs> cereal, <laughs> has stuff that you could easily put in a salad. Think, the milk is the ranch dressing because they're almost the same thing, right? The that's little, what that says. Did you just read that? The milk is the dressing, so yes. Oh, I didn't even read that. I honestly, I could see why people would say that. Personally, no, I don't it's think it is. It's a no, it's a no. I'm saying it's no, but I could see why. This is the most yeah. valid argument. What the F just happened? Scroll up. 98 to two? Yeah, because nobody thinks it, it doesn't really have a characteristics of a salad. You could say then is- But for, the format of salad. it. Like the, for, the format. I get the format, but no. Like the, just the broad- Okay, we get it. If it isn't a salad, then is cereal soup? No. What? Cere I could see cereal being soup more than it's a salad. <clears throat> Sorry. No, they're naming all things that are their own thing. Soup is soup, cereal is cereal. You just fully debated that cereal was salad and now you're just gonna be hardcore on the fact that no. cereal is soup. Cereal is more of a soup than cereal is salad. When you eat soup, you're not putting, you get soup and soup is soup. Like you don't add, Okay. okay. you know? Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Salad, I get it, adding... I get it, I get it. No, no! 91 and nine. <laughs> I hate people. I hate people. Is a Pop-Tart ravioli? No. It could be. Again, Pop-Tarts are their own thing. Andrew, you have to be thinking more broad-minded because technically I would say a Pop-Tart is the closest to a non-ravioli ravioli that you could ever get. So it's are, exactly what a ravioli so is. So are Gushers ravioli? How about a Snickers bar since it has filling? No. Anything You're talking about a simple carb with a simple filling, which Gushers, yes, Gushers would be ravioli. A Calzone could potentially be a ravioli. I feel like anything, a mozzarella sticks ravioli, that no, it has to be the shape, probably. We're talking about shape and... I just blew your mind. A mozzarella stick is literally cheese ravioli. No, because ravioli is pasta. It's not bread. Fine, we'll say absolutely for this one to change it up. Dang it, we should have just went with our gut. And what do you know? The very next one is pretty much uh, answering exactly what I said. Anything filled with anything could be anything. defined as a ravioli. Is this ravioli, this water bottle, because it's filled with water? Andrew, we get it. Let it go. We'll say no. What the F? More people thought a Uncrustable was ravioli than a Pop-Tart. I'm done. 
Okay. We're just getting yeah. real deep with this. Everyone is obsessed with raviolis. This is like five straight. <laughs> are raviolis dumplings? Yes. So if raviolis are dumplings, when I have Uncrustables, I'm eating a uh, dumpling. Yeah. Okay, well, let's find <laughs> out what happens here. I like this has gone way out of hand. That's funny. Thank God, 73%. Oh my God. Now here's one that is actually like a legit one that I've actually heard a lot. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Debatable. It's debatable. It could be a Subway sandwich because you know how the bottom is connected and Subway sandwiches are like always connected on the backside. So is Subway a sandwich? Yes. I'm saying yes, it is a sandwich by theory. I think by theory it's a sandwich too. I would agree. Wow. 72% of people don't think a That's hot dog is a sandwich. That's the biggest split that we've had. I mean, the closest split. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Now this one's actually interesting. Is pizza a type of toast? Because think about it this way. It's a carb. They can't see. Continue. Continue. Go ahead. Continue. Go ahead. It's a cop. If you're going to push I'm one good, more out, I'm you're going to vomit. Good. I know. I, I was thinking about it, but it would have been violent. Okay, but think about it this way. It's a card that you put in a toaster, technically like a fire brick yeah. oven or something, or an you actual have a fire oven. brick oven? I was just saying, oh. Andrew, this isn't a fire brick oven. Look at the picture. That could be a fire brick oven. And there's oven. toppings on it. So I kind of think that it could be. I mean, honestly, you give me pizza, you can call it a freaking shoe, and All I'm right. eating that. 90 10 is a Choco Taco a sandwich. I haven't had one of these in a long time, and I remember when I was a little kid, I was like, Mom. When the ice cream man came by, can I please get a chocolate taco? I don't taco? know if I've ever had one of these. These were the high-end things. Like, you could get, like, the SpongeBob square That's pants what I for, like, a dollar. And the eyes were the bubble gum. These were, like, two fifty. These were, like, the high-end stuff. Um, but no, it's not a sandwich. No. A taco is a taco. Just like a burrito is a burrito. But a hot dog is a sandwich? Yes. Yeah, 89 to 11%. Yes. <sighs> All right, the next one is how do you eat pizza? This is a real debate, I feel like. I used to eat pizza with a fork and a knife. I now eat pizza with my hands. Yeah, for me, I only eat pizza with a fork and knife if the other person I'm eating the pizza with is doing it because they're clearly very weird. And if you're if they eat it with a fork and knife and you're eating that thing with your hands, they are gonna judge you. <laughs> and they potentially could kill you. So I'm absolutely going hands, yeah. but if someone's using a knife and fork, I'm I'm right. using a knife and fork. Right. 92% say hands. Pineapple on pizza. No. Literally never, no, never, no, 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 no. I personally don't get it, but I respect people that do. After we went to that uh, uh, Korean barbecue and they gave us the roasted pineapple, Wait, that was the no, best thing I've ever had. No, that's not the debate. I like pineapple alone. Roasted pineapple alone is good. It is. But roasted pineapple on a pizza is not good. It just doesn't belong, okay? But we'll just say Uno, because I personally don't like it, but fit, wow, wow. Look how many votes. How many votes is that quick? One, two, three, four, answer. 16,000, 16, 000, 16 1,637. Oh my God, babe. Where'd you get 1,000? That's in the millions. You're adding- No, it's not. 800... That's in the millions? Are you dumb? You stupid. 830,000 plus 807,000. Don't even get into this. Just answer. Do you eat the crust? I mean, this crust, absolutely. That is stuffed crust, pepperoni Just say, from- of course. I usually don't, but okay, whatever. What's the better sandwich? Peanut butter and honey, peanut butter and jail. The honey thing is pretty good, but if you don't do it right, your bread gets like all like- Crystallized. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah. You have I don't to know. put the peanut butter down first. Like, I don't know what kind of chemical reactions going on there, but it freaks me out, so I'm going peanut butter and jelly. I think I would choose peanut butter and honey if it was a peanut butter honey banana. Then I would choose peanut butter honey, but if it's just peanut butter honey, I'd rather go with a peanut butter jelly. So which one? A peanut butter jelly. Did you not listen to what I just said? I was just upset when you said banana because I'm like, there's not a banana option. That's what. 79, 21. Whoa. How do you like your eggs? With ketchup or definitely without ketchup? Do we even need to say this? No. Who the F puts ketchup on their... You're telling me of the like 1.5 million people that took this quiz, almost like 400,000 of them put ketchup on eggs? That is disgusting. I don't even know that's I, a thing. I guess like maybe I would like mix ketchup in Cholula or something and maybe dip something in it, but... Ketchup is for hot dogs. Hash browns. Hash browns, yes, but not eggs. That is horrible. Yes. 
Okay. Love that stuff. Don't even have to. Wow. I like them. Blue I cheese like is too. good. Except that blue cheese we had that one time. <laughs> I think it was goat butt cheese or something. Like, that was horrible. Which is the better taco? Hard shell tacos. Soft shell tacos. Soft, soft shell, shell tacos. 64. Boom. Should burgers have pickles? I think this also goes for a Chick-fil-A sandwich. That's the real question. Mm. I think Chick-fil-A sandwiches should have pickles. Andrew doesn't. When did I say that? I don't know. The last time we were there, you ordered it with no pickles. Yes, yeah, because Phil was like, no pickles on mine. So I was going to say two oh. with pickles. You know, oh. like, no pickles on all. I think yes. I don't really care, to be honest with you. I'm not judging a burger on their pickles, you know. Whoa, 63% said yes and 37% said no. I don't like them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what that was, but okay. Well, there you guys have it. Thanks for watching the video today. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and subscribe. No, I say that. Well, too bad. What was that? There's like I thought that was the ghost. I don't know why I'm talking like this, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> Thanks sure before you guys go to like and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you can get notified every time we upload a new video, which is every other day of the month that doesn't start with Y. I guess we'll see you whenever we see you. <laughs>